Welcome back to Wisdom Academy. In today's video, we're going to look at the atomic uh, numbers and the mass number of an atom. We're going to look at the numbers, the atomic numbers and both the ma mass, mass uh, number. Now, how do you know the atomic number? How do we determine? How do we ascertain the atomic number of a, a, an, an element or of an atom? Now, this we can calculate or we can say based on the number of protons that the atom has. So, if the number of protons is a level, therefore the atomic number will be level. For example, sodium in the case of sodium. If the atomic number is five, if uh, sorry, if the number of protons is five, it therefore means the atomic number will be five. It it means that the atomic number is determined based on the number of protons that are found in the nucleus of the atom. So the atomic number is ascertained based on the number of protons, prot protons that are found in the nucleus of the atom. So if that is understood, it therefore means hydrogen atom always contains one proton. So it means atomic number of hydrogen will be uh, one. Carbon atoms always contain six uh, protons. It means that the atomic number of carbon will be six. Uh, the number of protons changes uh, based on the atom as the atom increases in the periodic table which we're going to talk about the about in our subsequent video now the number of protons in an atom is known as the atomic number or the proton number the number of proton in an atom found in the nucleus of an atom is known as the atomic uh, number so if we ask you to define the atomic number you simply tell us is the number of protons that are found in the nucleus of the atom the number of protons that are found in the nucleus of the atom is defined as the atomic number. For example, if you take a look at this carbon atom, you, the number of protons is uh, 6. The number of protons is 6 and the, number of, uh, uh, the mass number, which is something as we we'll talk about uh, in a while, after a short while, it's uh, 12. So the, the, the number of protons is 6, therefore the, uh, the atomic number of carbon is uh, 6. Now let's take a look at different elements. The atomic numbers are, uh, are based on the number of protons of different elements. If you take a look at, if we write an element or, uh, or an atom, uh, the one the uh, denominator, the one at the bottom side is known as the, the, the number of protons. And then one on top is the mass number, the mass number of the atom. We're going to talk about the mass uh, number, but at the moment we're talking about the number of uh, protons. So the one at the bottom, the one or the one at the uh, uh, bottom left side of the atom is the number of protons, and it connotes the number, of, the atomic number of the element because we said the number of protons equals to the number of uh, or equal to the atomic number of the atom. Now, for sodium, which symbol N A, natrium, as a, from Latin name derived from Latin name, the atomic number is here eleven. Why? Because the number of protons found in the nucleus of this uh, sodium atom is 11. Now, what of for ion? The number of protons found in the nucleus of the atom is 26. Therefore, it means that the atomic number of uh, ion is uh, 26. Now, what of uh, th thin? The atomic number is uh, uh, 15. Why? Because the number of protons found in the nucleus of the atom is uh, 5050. What of uh, flu uh, fluorine? Fluorine, the atomic symbol F, uh, the atomic number is uh, 9 because the number of protons found in the nucleus of the atom is 9. Okay, so that's great. Now let's move on to what's mass number. Now we understood the atomic number because we've used two concepts to explain our, we've used these two concepts to explain the atom. Now we said, if you look, take a look at this carbon atom, the bottom one, the left side, it's uh, the number, atomic number, which is the number of protons. And we said that the top one, which is 12 in this regard, it's uh, the mass number. Therefore, now we want to talk about mass number after we take a look at the number of uh, protons, which is uh, at, uh, num uh, the atomic number. Now, the mass number of an element is the number of the total number of protons plus a neutral found in the nucleus of the atom. The, both the number of protons and the number of electrons found, uh, sorry, the no, both the number of protons and the number of uh, neutrons found in the nucleus of the atom. So we said the sum of protons and neutrons 
found in the nucleus of the atom is known as the mass number or nuclear number. In some regard or in some books, they call it the nuclear number in physics specifically. Now, so the number of prot protons plus the number of neutrons, which is actually the total number of particles that are found in the nucleus of the atom. It therefore means when we say the mass number, we refer it to the the content of the nucleus of the atom because in the content of the nucleus of the atom we invariably find the two category of uh, categories of uh, subatomic particles which are the, which are the protons and the neutrons so the summation of the number of protons and the number of uh, neutrons found in the nucleus of the atom give rise to what we call the mass number okay great now, take, let's take a look at this uh, magnesium atom. If you, the, we already agreed that this is the number of protons, 12. And uh, if the number of protons is 12, it means the atomic number is 12. Now, the mass number, we say the one on top is the mass number. The mass number is the total sum of the number of protons plus the number of neutrons found in the nucleus of the atom. Okay, great. Now, let's take a look, take a look at this table and begin to analyze this uh, concept as it were. Now, in the first case, we say the pro number of protons for hydrogen atom, the number of protons is 1, and the mass number is 1. Since the mass number of uh, hydrogen is 1, it means the number of uh, neutrons will be 0 because uh, you, 1 plus 0 equal to 1. So that's why here is 0. If not, if this one was uh, 2, it means here would be 1 because 1 plus 1 would have been 2. But because the mass number of a uh, hydrogen atom is 1, it def and the number of proton is one which determine the determines the atomic number it therefore means the neutrons the number of neutrons found in the nucleus of that atom is zero now let's take a look at lithium lithium has a number of protons to be three which means the atomic number is three and uh, the mass number is seven it therefore means the number of uh, neutrons is seven minus three which is four Okay, now let's take a look at aluminium. Aluminium has atomic number 13 and number of neutrons for the, therefore the mass number will be 27 because 30 plus 40 is equal to 27. For this, the number of ma mass number equal to number of proton plus number of a uh, number of neutron, which is 3 plus 4 equal to 7. For this, number mass number equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons which is equal to one one plus zero is one great so this is uh, for the for, for the begin for beginners uh, to understand that this concept now we therefore represent this as a formula we say the mass number of an atom is equal to the number of protons plus the number of uh, neutrons the mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons now what is the mass number of these atoms that we've highlighted? We have helium, we have copper, we have cobalt, we have iod, we have germanium. Now, what are the mass number? First of all, we have to know the number of protons and the number of uh, neutrons. Now, if the number of protons is 2 and the number of neutrons is 2, the mass number will be 4 because 2 plus 2 equals 4. Good. Now, let's take a look at copper. If the number of protons for copper is 29 and the number of uh, neutrons is 35, it therefore means the mass number will be 64 because 29 plus 35 is 64. Now, for cobalt, if the number of protons is uh, 27 and the number of neutrons is 32, it therefore means the mass number will be 59 because 27 plus 32 is equal to 59. Now, what of iodine? If the number of protons is 53, which is the atomic number of iodine, if you check, if you take a look at the periodic table. Now, the number of neutrons is 74. What will be the number mass number? 127, because 53 plus 74 equals to 127. Is that okay? Great. What of germanium? 32 number of protons, 41 number of neutrons. Then a, a number of mass number will be 73, because this plus this equal to 32 plus 41 is equal to 73. Now let's take a look at uh, building a nucleus. How do we build a nucleus? First of all, from the basic uh, first 20 element in the periodic table. We take a look, a look at uh, the first 20 element in the periodic table. So we can easily identify for what we've said just now, number of proto is one, the mass number is one. Neutron, number of neutron will be zero in this regard. And helium two plus two will be equal to four. And uh, 
so and so on and so forth like we've said in the basic first 20 elements that we've learned previously in lower secondary or probably even before then so these are the for for example the calcium number of proton is 20 and number of neutral is 20 therefore the mass number is uh, 40 so this is the basics like we're looking at out uh, more of this we can look in a bigger or proper uh, periodic table now let's take a look at uh, a small exercise to see if we understand how this number of protons and number of neutrons or electrons all work, work together and determines the atomic number or the mass number of an atom or of an element now for example for if boron has number of protons to be five and neutrons to be six then the number of electrons will be what we said number of protons equal to number of electrons remember in our previous video we said the number of protons of an atom equals to the number of electrons of the atom that's why an atom is said to be electrically neutral we said this before therefore here will be five and uh, the number of protons is also equal to the atomic number therefore this is five and the mass number will be five plus six which is eleven now let's find 11 in this place we're going to find 11 the same goes to this the number of uh, we know the number of electrons therefore means the number of protons will be 90 as well because number of protons equals the number of electrons uh, if number of electrons is 90 and uh, the mass number is uh, 39 what is the number of neutrons is 39 minus 90 which is obviously going to be 20 okay that's great so same thing goes to to all of them and this is the result that we get and that's great it means we understand what how these different uh, 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 for different elements how to calculate the number of protons number of neutrons number of electrons the atomic number the mass numbers what all this uh, terminology re uh, uh, means how and how to go about them how to calculate them now let's move ahead we now look at summary of our work which is uh, basically the terminologies that we've made measure of, we need to know their meaning uh, like for example the atom we say is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in chemical reaction it can actually take part in chemical reaction atomic number we say is the number of protons that are found in the nucleus of the atom now also electrons we say they are negatively charged particles that orbit around the nucleus of an atom they found it outside the nucleus of the atom revolving around the shell okay electron shell we say there are layers around the nucleus of the atom electrons orbit round in the new round the nucleus of the atom in shells okay now an element is a substance that is made up of only one type of uh, atom what 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 what's the difference between an atom now and an element an element is a substance that is made up of only one type of uh, atom the atoms might be many but they are just one type you can have millions of atoms of that uh, element but it's just one type it's not two types but one type of atom that could be as much as it can okay so that's what an element is now let's take a look at uh, the mass number we say the mass number is the number of is the number of protons and number of neutrons found in the nucleus of the atom then we say the neutrons uh, we say uh, if you take a look at the nucleus of an atom a neutron it's that which also which is also composed or comprised or found in the nucleus with a mass of one and with a mass of one and without a charge okay the one that has a charge which is positively charged we said it was a, a proton found in the nucleus of the atom now what of the nucleus the nucleus is a densely populated uh, positively charged center of an atom it's found at the same in, in the center of the atom a densely populated because why is it densely populated because it has a lot of protons and neutrons all found at the center of the atom is that okay okay now what of the periodic table the periodic table lists all the elements in order of the atomic number increase the atomic number it lists all the elements in increase the atomic number now what of the protons the a, a positively charged particle is proton with a mass of one okay now what of the proton number the number of protons in the new found in the nucleus of an atom is the proton number which is also the same as the atomic number okay thank you very much for being with us in our today's video and uh, let's before we go let's take a look at this uh, small exercise uh, with these statements are true or false neutrons are protons are positively charged is it true is it true 
the neutrons are positively charged atomic number is the number of protons in an atom that's true right and then we said the atomic number is is the larger of the two numbers shown in the periodic table is that so the larger of the two number atomic number that seems not to be true okay now the mass number of an element is the number of protons plus the number of a uh, neutral yeah proton plus neutral equals to mass number right that appears to be true right now each element has a fixed number of proton that's true right now let's check what we yeah that's great it means we were bright in our decisions or the good we have a good understanding of, of, of this topic so we can also look at this multiple choice and see which of the following is not part of the atom which of the following is not the proton the neutron and the electron they are part of the atom atom okay okay the isotope because isotope we didn't mention in our topics today because it's a sub topic that we're going to take a look at what if and so on and so forth we have so many other questions for you why do atoms have no average charge why do they not have average charge because number of protons equals the number of electrons right therefore atom is said to be electrically neutral now which atomic particles are found in the nucleus which one are found in the nucleus the protons and the neutrons the electrons are found outside right the electrons are found outside the protons and neutrons right now which uh, an, an element's atomic number is the number of what uh, particle protons right yeah that's great so these are some questions for us to always get our hands up what of the number which mass the mass number tells you what information about the element the mass number tells you which information what does it tell you the number of protons plus the number of neutrons that's right right that's great now we see to another question the carbon has atomic number 59 and atomic number 27 this means that carbon has what it has a mass number sorry this is a mistake it has a mass number 59 and atomic number 27 and then what does this tell us it means that the neutral is 59 no uh, proton is 27 yes proton is 27 electron is 59 no neutral is 27 no because 59 minus 27 gives the neutral so but proton is 27 because this is the atomic number right great so all these questions for us to have a, a hand up an at atom of chlorine has 70 protons and 18 neutral how many electron does it have we said the number of protons equals to number of electron if the number of protons is 17 it therefore means the number of electrons is also 17 right that's great so you can see how it works out this uh, we scientists reintroduced the idea of atom in 1803 is it domecrutus is it james chadwick ns rutherford john Dutton, right john Dutton. he reintroduced the idea after domecrutus did it in 450 bc now so as so on and so forth questions for you to practice and have a handle thank you very much for listening to our today's video